Well, what's going on guys? Getting back to you with another upload once again. And I figured I'd go ahead and give you guys a cover crop update. You can see the rye starting to come up a little bit better than last time I had showed you guys. It's starting to get a little bit thicker, coming up better. And you can't really see through the camera, but if you look out a ways, it's actually starting to come up in the actual field versus where it got double planted. But it's coming up fairly decent. Um, it's gonna get to, it's gonna get hopefully a little bit, just a little bit taller than what it is right now. Cause again, not all of it has come up yet. So wait for it to grow some more and, um, hopefully try a little no-tilling. So yeah, it's definitely coming up a lot better than what it was. Guess we'll go ahead and walk out here a little bit. Try not to carry in too much mud on the boots, I suppose. Do a little walking over here real quick. And again, guys, it is winter time. Although it didn't feel like it a couple days ago. Um, so, videos probably won't be as fun as what they used to be or as exciting but and apologies for the wind yeah it's coming in a lot better than what it was and to get a better point of view on how it's looking It is rather windy, making it a heck of a lot colder than what it actually is, as wind is. I think I'll go ahead and put the four wheeler away, get the gator out, and go show you another field, because. It is cold, so go ahead and show you guys a couple more fields that we got the rye on. All right guys, so the field that we're looking at right now, this was a field that had rye put on it um, with a spreader. Instead of a vertical tillage disc and a blower like what we used, but as you can see, it's really not as thick as what the disc we put down. But it's coming along really, really nicely. Um, they got their eye put on this a little bit earlier than what we did. So I figured I'd go ahead and show you this field real quick just to kind of give you a representation of what a field that's been spreaded with the cover crop versus the disc. So, yeah, they got their eye on just a little bit sooner than what we did, so it's a little bit more uh, up. <laughs> As you can see, you can tell that the field is completely green versus our field that has just the rye, where the rye is just now starting to come up. So, ours will look like this when it gets a little warmer, hopefully, but this is just a... This is a field that had the rye spread on, and then what we had was incorporated in with a disc and a blower, so. All right, off to go show you the field that we have that's also got rye on it. All right, so this is the field that we also put the rye on. Like I said, we had our rye. Um, our rye was put on a little bit later than that one field that we just looked at, so. Our ride does not look as good as the others. We were more we were more into getting crops off and uh, then putting the rye on. 
So um, we didn't get our eye on until a little bit later than others. Because we were trying to get crops off first. But anyway, this was this was beans last year. We got rye on it this year. So, yeah, the camera does not represent the rye real well. It actually looks a lot better than what it does on camera. There is something there. May not be able to see it, but there is something there. So, down here on the end rows, it's a little bit better. That was also because it got double seated. But, yeah, coming home yesterday, I was coming down this bridge. And you can definitely tell that there is rye out there. So, uh, just keep on doing updates and until it starts to look like rye again hopefully it's supposed to kill it in March so we'll give it a little bit more time to grow and then kill it and go through and no-till everything no-till the stuff that rye was put on but that doesn't mean that we're not getting the field cultivator out and tilling either so guess I'll get off the gator and... there isn't really a whole lot to see down here but it is starting to come in. Notice there isn't really as much residue in here because this was beans last year. So when the disc came through it worked in that residue really well. So Alright, I guess we got one more field to see and that will be it for today. So stick around. All right, guys, so this is the last field that we got the rye on. And this one is just a little bit farther ahead, if I'm not mistaken. I think this is the first field that we did. Um, again, just a very, very, very light green going across the field right now. So it's coming along. It's still pretty cold. So once this warmer weather gets around, it'll perk it up a little more. Guess I'll go ahead and I'll do a wheat video next time. But this also has a little bit more of the leaves in it too, because uh, all the leaves from the woods and the trees around here blow across and then you got these big weeds over or big trees over here so it's no big deal so this was also soybeans so again there's not really a whole lot of residue so. So trust me, it'll be a lot thicker here in a little bit, so head on back to the house and we'll go from there. Well, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to leave your feedback in the comments below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So uh, thanks again for watching and we'll see you soon.